Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna take a look at the AWS Glue Crawler, how you can use the crawler to populate the AWS Glue Data Catalog about data that you have lying around in your organization in many different systems. For those of you who are new here, I'm Johnny Chivers. I'm an AWS Solutions Architect with over 10 years experience working in the field of big data. In this video, we'll take a look at what is the AWS Glue Data Crawler, and then I'll show you in a demo how you can use the crawler to register data that you have in S3. So firstly, what is the AWS Glue Crawler? It's a feature from AWS that sits in the AWS Glue service. It goes out into different data repositories that you have in your organization, such as S3, DynamoDB, or even back to on-premise systems such as Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle DB. It crawls the these data stores for information and populates the AWS Glue Data Catalog that sits centrally in AWS with information it finds in these data repositories such as the database name, the table name, the source system and how you get to that system from a connection string point of view, be that JDBC. It also contains information like the table name, the column names, the table types and even the underlying file format. Once it's crawled these data stores, it populates the information back into the AWS Glue Data Catalog, where you can use this with other AWS services such as Athena, Glue ETL, to actually pull that information together or analyze that information using it as a meta store. So that being said, let's jump onto the console, take a look how we can actually register data that sits on S3 with our AWS Glue Data Catalog. I've made all the resources you need for this free, link in the description below to the GitHub. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, when ready, the first thing you want to do is click the link in the description below the video to go to the GitHub. Once there, we want to download all the files and folders inside this source repository. So go code on the right hand side, download a zip. It'll take a few seconds, but once downloaded, you can see that it's on the left hand side. I'm going to open that folder and uncompress it so I have it. I'm really interested in this data folder where the customers.csv is. Back on the main repo, as you can see, I've included uh, some descriptions of what we're going to do in the tutorial. Please feel free to read it. But most importantly, look at the schema of the customer's data that we're going to upload to S3. You can see that there are four fields. First is customer ID, second is first name, then last name, then full name. I've also included screenshots of what we're going to do today in the video in case you want to follow along as well through the GitHub repo. On the AWS console, the first thing we need to do is create an S3 bucket. So I'm going to type in S3, and then I'm going to go to create on the right hand side, create bucket. Give the bucket a name, call your bucket whatever you want. It's not that important, but it has to be unique within AWS. So I'm just gonna call mine crawler demo. Accept all the default settings I'm working on in the Ireland region rather and then just hit create bucket down the bottom. So scroll down to the bottom and hit create bucket. A few seconds later, the bucket will be created. Type in the name of the bucket here and it should appear for you to find. So I called mine Johnny Chevers Crawler Demo or Demo Crawler rather, as you can see here. Click into it, click upload on the right hand side, click add folder, add folder, not add files into your downloads, wherever you downloaded that folder, click into the folder, click into data, click on the customer's folder, not the CSV, the customer's folder, click upload. I can trust this and upload. This is uploading both the folder and the CSV. You can see here, upload has been successful. Hit close on the right hand side and you should have a customer's folder. Click into that customer's folder and you should have a CSV. That CSV looks like the CSV schema that we have here on the GitHub repo. Next, we want to go to the Glue console. So type in Glue and click on AWS Glue. From there, click on crawlers on the left hand side. So down the left hand side, expand the data catalog if it's not expanded and go to crawlers. Go to create crawler on the right hand side and give this a unique name. So I'm going to call this just demo crawler to keep things simple. Hit next. We haven't defined a data source yet or mapped one. So say not yet. Click add data source either here or here. Add data source. 
Leave these as they sit as default and go down to S3 Path. Click on Browse S3. Find the bucket that we had. Click into that bucket. Radio button highlight the customer's folder and hit choose. You may get this red um, warning message. To negate this, put forward slash. So add an extra forward slash if it doesn't appear automatically and it should look like this. Leave everything else as default and hit add S3 data source. Hit next. We want to create a new IAM role. So I am using my admin permissions as I'm logged in. So I have permissions to create a new role. Hit create new role and give it a name. I'm just going to call this glue demo crawler. Hit create. Takes a few seconds. Then hit next. Target database, add database and give it a name that you'll remember. So I'm just going to call this demo crawler. You can leave everything else as blank as it's optional and hit create database. Go back onto the AWS Glue console, hit the refresh on the right hand side and find that database that we just created. So I called mine demo crawler. There it is. Next, you want to run this on demand and hit next. Review everything. That should be fine and hit create crawler. Once created, you want to hit run crawler here. So run crawler up here or run crawler down here run the crawler. This can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. So let's just let it run. I'll pause the video and I'll pick it up once it's finished. Okay, as you can see that took 44 seconds and one table has changed. Go to the left hand side and go to databases. So make sure the glue data catalog is fully dropped down. Go to databases, go to your demo crawler uh, or whatever you called your database and you'll see that there's a new table called customers created. You'll see that its classification is CSV because it's recognized through the crawler that our underlying data is CSV. Click onto the name and you'll see that we have the four columns that we expect. We have customer ID, first name, last name and full name. And this is the same as we had in the schema in the file, customer ID, first name, last name and full name. You can see if we jump back onto the console as well, it thinks that customer ID is big int and the rest are strings. Other important things to note here is that you can see the location here and that'll take you to the S3 location of where the crawler was ran. So it's this location and other things to note as well that it's actually put an output format and a serialization format on it as well. And we have a link to our databases. There's an advanced properties tab on the right where it's picked up things that it believes that we should know about the actual data itself, including the field delimiter and the record count. I advise you to go take a look at this um, at this tab yourself and play around with the different statistics available. So join me back on the video now where we'll do a brief summary of what we've covered today and next steps. Well, folks, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how you can use the Glue Data Crawler to populate the AWS Glue Data Catalog with information about data that you have in different repositories. As per usual, please check out the website, link in the description below, where I put lots more free AWS content. I'd also appreciate a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out. And until next time, folks, thanks for watching.